Hi, I'm Eric Shaw, and this is the Big Happy Day Yoga Video Series. Today, I want to talk about the roots of alignment. So if you know a little bit about yoga, you might know that um, there is an alignment system for how we construct each pose. And the wider goal of that alignment system is to make us more poised in the mind, more rooted in the body. And then there's kind of a higher aim, too, of moving energy in the body. If we attain a kind of perfect placement, we make prana move in a powerful way. So the main author of the modern alignment system, the person who kind of got the ball rolling, was a guy named BKS Iyengar. Um, and uh, what he did was that he worked in yoga in a way that brought a lot of bhava to his form, a lot of energy to his form. And one of the reasons he did this is that in his early days, he was performing a lot. He was getting up in front of audiences. And to do that, he had to create a lot of energy in his system. He had to create compelling geometric forms. So what this did was it, was it informed his yoga practice. It gave him an understanding of yoga which was um, very expressive. And Iyengar in his writings talks a lot about yoga being an art. He talks about it being like dance. He talks about um, it being his creative form. He investigated yoga unlike any yogi in history ever had. He spent so much time at it, and he did all this performance work. And in 1975, he tells this story in his biographical works, he was comparing photographs of himself and photographs of his students, and he started to draw straight lines from point to point. And he realized that he was lining up his limbs in a way that his own students were not. And from that, he developed a system that he called yogic alignment, which has kind of become the sanam bonum, the, the chief feature of, of Iyengar yoga practice. So alignment is something that emerged in the 20th century. Iyengar didn't get it from Krishnamacharya, his teacher. If you look at images from Krishnamacharya and from Iyengar, we know that Krishnamacharya didn't understand yogic alignment. He focused on vinyasa krama, putting poses together, but he didn't focus so much on the pose itself. He talked about how much time you should spend in a pose, but not so much how to construct a pose. That's a gift that came from Iyengar's investigations and Iyengar's teachings. In later days, um, uh, a, a figure like John Friend looked at um, Iyengar's system and he attempted to simplify it. He created something he calls universal alignment, which includes a um, view of the body which uses more organic models and more general models for how to set up the body in a posture so that we can understand it better and actually focus on how prana, how energy moves in the body. Right? Um, he worked with spirals, he works with loops. And the body, if we look at it, if we look at the way that the muscles are made, if we look at the way that the bones are constructed, they move in spirals and loops, and the mind kind of spirals and loops in its thought. It doesn't go from point to point to point. So all these things help us to remember alignment better, John Friend's system, um, and to apply it to a really lived human body in a way that Iyengar yoga didn't quite hit the mark. Uh, as an alignment continued to evolve, um, we have figures like Paul Grilly who kind of came into the discussion. He wanted to sweep away alignment altogether. He felt that bodies couldn't be forced into specific postures, that it was very, better to account for bodily proportion and better to account for how you might orient the body in space in order to attain optimal posture for that individual person, not for some individual model. So that's three major approaches to alignment. Iyengar system, which is kind of the base system, the primary authority. John Friend, which uh, system of um, universal alignment, which kind of riffed off of that. And then um, the yin yoga practice of uh, uh, Paul Grilly, which is a kind of strong critique of the entire alignment system. So as a way of kind of responding to this wider discussion around um, yogic alignment and how it might apply to us individually, it's helpful perhaps to refer back to the Yoga Sutras where we have um, the phrase yoga stira suk asanam, yoga posture should be steady and comfortable. That's a nice rubric, yeah? And the next sutra says that by loosening effort and by focusing on the infinite, um, asana is mastered. So two kind of wider philosophical dispositions, if we internalize those in our practice, if we're searching for stability and comfort, if we're loosening effort and able to focus on the infinite, then the gift of yoga posture is coming to us. 
If that is attained through alignment, if that's attained through not abiding by alignment, that's for our individual body and our individual disposition to determine. I'm Eric Shaw. Blessings on your day. Thank you.